Welcome to Player One Lost presents 30 Minutes Of. Today we're doing Grand Theft Auto 5 for our very first episode of this very first season and for the launch of a website today, PlayerOneLost.com. Uh, the reason we're doing Grand Theft Auto 5 today is the online portion for Grand Theft Auto 5 is supposed to be released today. I haven't tried it out yet, I haven't got into it yet, so but I'm going to hold off on that. I might do that on Thursday for 30 minutes of play a little bit of the online. Uh, but for today, we're going to go into the single player campaign. I'm about 20% through it, uh, so we're going to try out a mission here. Uh, go through maybe one or two, depending on how much time I have in this 30 minute allotment. I'll even go over if need be. But uh, welcome to 30 minutes of today, GTA 5. Let's get started. All right, so I'm probably about 10 to 15 percent through. Um, just set up a waypoint here. I'm gonna go go to my waypoint at my house. Oh, I'm getting a call. Hold on. The Let's Santa. See what this says. That's not the name in your file, Michael. Steve Haynes here. Yeah, Agent Douchebag. Hey, that poor some bitch we grabbed for you still breathing? See for yourself right now. Trevor Phillips is on his way to help with the debrief. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Great. Sounds just like my kind of party. Go to the warehouse. Alright. Let's go to the warehouse. So I had a mission planned, but I got a phone call, so let's go do this. Anyway, this is GTA 5, Grand Theft Auto 5. Everyone's played it. And, uh. It's a great game. I held off on buying it. I was waiting for it on PC, but I broke down and went ahead and got it. For 360, and uh, it still looks great. I'm sure it'll look fantastic on PC, especially with the mods. So I'll probably end up picking it up again. But that's the life of a multi-console gamer. I don't need roads. I like railroad. And get stuck. <laughs> oh well. Alright, I'm almost there. So right now I'm playing as Michael. There's three characters in this game. You switch between them a lot. Uh, basically, Michael's like the old time crook that got out of the game and now he's back into it. The hell are you doing? Oh, okay. Nothing! Are you taking a dump? Why do you oh care? Oh my god. What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, I got abandonment issues. Uh, See a shrink once a week. You know, fuck you. Yeah, well. That's you know, uh, that's Trevor. He's like talking to. Meeting a bunch of creeps from the government in a quiet Trevor's building a little, for little someone. Trevor's crazy. He's out there. You see his face that last time I popped it. <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. <laughs> you, you back there. I know you, but you, you, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! He <laughs> reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> oh my god. How the fucking remember that line? <laughs> you. Where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep out of the way from me. Oh, no, God. no, Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, oh. I've got some new friends here now. Is this like the torture this scene Michael's? that everyone's talking and about? This? I finally got this to it. No. Just happens no, to be doing this. Here. He claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know. I already told nothing. Anything. Nothing. I don't know anything. Please. Please. Sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good flies, VIP. You know? Ooh. You're a so. fucking spy. <laughs> <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know. Did you tell them? And what did they tell you? So, uh, yeah, this game is uh, for what adults. What you? Uh huh. What? I. Hey! Whoa, whoa, what is this? 
The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. Because no, 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 I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. Hey, right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know? Go for a drive. Wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. <laughs> oh, good it's Caesar's place, around the corner from your house. Alright, let's go. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope ah. bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh well, boo hoo 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 <laughs> for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. <laughs> anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? Oops. I do know. What does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent ten years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or or we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away, the FIB cut you a deal on your sick bed, faked your death, and you end up. Don't! Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. Oh Could my god. On your wall. I can't tell. Uh, sure. That's part of the fun. Oops, turned too soon. going on Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Hey, you want a coffee? Sure. Oh, yeah. Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Where do we start? Wait, what are you talking about, the wrong guy? No. Who do you want? Just tell me what you want. Ah, huh, man? Ah, uh, please. Hmm. Look at me, please. What do I want? This is an important part of the great democratic I like, experiment. I like the pliers here. My teeth are perfect. Let me find it. Please don't. Got a sickle right trigger. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, 
too fairy. We'll come. Mr. That'll Phillips, pay him for it. Ask him about Tay here. Javon. What did you ask me? I know it's out here. I did this home theater. He <laughs> lives in Jumars. The ride on the Russell Highway. Well, that wasn't so tough, was it? No. Uh, <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash. <laughs> cool beans. You're driving. <laughs> Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. I think what they might. Dick. Who knows? <laughs> I'm kind of a terror to this city, so I just took a coffee break. Steve and Trevor getting along. Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job. No casualties. There were more eyes on that town than I needed. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave. No, 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 no! Hey! As much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send oh. another letter. It's about time anyway. Ooh, that was close. Oh, so that's you. Stop! So that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. Who he thinks they're from Brad? Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Town. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? Alright. See if he's here. This'll do. Alright. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. No, no, please. I tell what? you what Loosen you him want. up. No, no, please. Hmm. Pliers again. No. I like Break the, him, Mr. Phillips. I like the pipe wrench. This is going to hurt. You're playing a crazy guy. You gotta be a little crazy. Oh, 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 oh. I felt now, bad. Huh? Now you ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I, I got kidnapped. The second picture. That's what we were afraid of. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This dog. guy we're after. What does he look like? I was built. I was like middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark. Okay, he's Azerbaijani for God's sake. Look around. Not enough for you? Wow. down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. Hmm. All right, switch to Trevor. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. Right, let me think. I remember. <laughs> Sorry, too oh. late, Trevor. Oh. Show our contestant what he's wanted. I remember. Oh, okay. I remember. <laughs> I remember. Um. She's the battery, I guess. Sparky, Sparky, you're going to kill me. I will die. <laughs> Have a good do her. clip. Why is it good? <laughs> Shake up your memory again? No, 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 no,
beard. Oh, he's, got he's got Pooch's beard. Uh huh. No. I think you're making this up. No, no, I'm not. Huh? No. Yeah. I'm telling the truth. Pooch's beard? You got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's given us. Huh. No. You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two Poor bullets guy. and put them in our Please, no. and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. We're back in. Give me some eyes. Beard. Who am I looking for? Oh. Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble going to cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Now, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. <laughs> beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's going to be a long day until you give us some intel on our targets. <laughs> He's got beard. <laughs> this looks, this looks like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time? Just oh. to be sure. No, please, no. Huh? I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. Gasoline it is in. If my mama had waterboarded me more often, I wouldn't be the gun-toting psychopath you see before you now. <laughs> what? The? I will drown. I will. Is that a commentary on no one spanks her child anymore? Torture My mouth! I, I would... I don't see what all the fuss is about personally. Stop it. It's done the trick. Yep, he comes. Let me up. <laughs> Let me up. Today's lesson is about government regulation. Lesson? This is meaningless. <laughs> Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. <laughs> okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Red with cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. <laughs> oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. <laughs> and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest, details. Alright. Oh, ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep. Fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. About as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. Now I'm taking a shot. All right. Davey, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe. Could be. Used to be. Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a rapid ball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <coughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> let's go, come on. Wait a second, Mr. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Oh, what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up. Come on. Up the fucking stairs. What? What's going on here? Ow. For fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. All right. Now you got a flight to catch. Okay? Let's get you to the airport. Hmm. Oh, safety first. Hey, how's your mouth?
mouth. It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? Ah, no. I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 no. You have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. Turn in Hollywood. I love him very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country, and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message. You're a torture advocate. Advocate? <laughs> the media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We needed to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything. Exactly. <laughs> Tortures for the torturer. Or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. Wow. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm pretty lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee. But only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. <laughs> it's me, 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 me with you. Jesus Christ, good grief. I thought we really bonded, uh, but now I'm having my doubts. They're sending them away. Departures. No one drives to me. <laughs> spread the message that torture is wrong. It doesn't do any good. Wow. So Trevor was just planning along with the torture. Just Run. to get the You're free. Oh, FIB. Oh, my family is here. Your family is him. probably the ones who got you fucking in That's here, great. all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. My problem is I'm dropping off them off at the airport all messed up. I'm sure someone will be like, oh my god, call the cops. I, I doubt he has any money for a ticket. But, and he probably just fell down the stairs. All right. Mission passed. Oh, gold. Wow. So, you do have a torture, and it's like totally wrong, and then you finish it, and then it's like, yeah, it was wrong. So, go spread your message. So, anyways, let's go, uh, let's go see what this next mission is about. It's Chisel! Jimmy D. More on the tragic storm in Liberty City yeah, that right. has the nation caring again. My UFO crash thing I, I think I don't like is like when you get these little emails on your phone, it says pick a response, out, but a there's only ever one response. At the IAA so it's kind of pointless. It it's like, like untapped potential. Maybe in the DLCs that come out. And we just found out Brad is actually not real. He's dead. U.S. citizens what Global Pole does. Only two out of ten people correctly identify the international police force, with the other responses ranging from antidepressant medication to cartoon characters. Liberty City Storm News. The storm that ravaged Liberty City has some corporate citizens stepping up to the plate, including the gas and electric monopolies. Getting America back on its feet is important to us, since we are a state of Zero interest in investing in infrastructure. I just hope that we can your guts. Oh, I'm making a mess. Oh, no. I'm going to clip by the bus. Hunting for UFOs. 
Just listening to the radio can be hilarious in this game. Alright, let's go talk to Franklin. I say left, you say right. I say Franklin's a char another character, the one in the yellow there. But he's a third character that you can that? play as. Hello, Missy. Wow, Franklin. You never told me that you had a sister. I'm Denise, Franklin's housemate. And aunt, my mother's old dried up ass. Shut sister. the fuck up. Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Here, darling. Why don't you go get yourself something nice, okay? <laughs> $7. I said something nice, not expensive. You want to be a greedy fucking cow? Huh? No. Now get the fuck out of here, all right? You <gasps> and men are all the same. <laughs> wow. Man, what the fuck you doing here? <sighs> here with the boy. The boys. What? I'm fucking new in town. I'm making friends, all right? Now let's party. Look, I had plans on getting some rest until this clown and my aunt came and fucked that up. My nigga, I just came over here to holler at you about the little thing. Man, I said I'm tired, dawg. What fucking thing? I love things. I'm the king of things. I ain't talking to you, homie. Hey, let's go do something about the thing, okay? What thing? I'm talking about the little stretch thing, man. Fucking beautiful. Perfect. It's a gangbang. Let's go. <laughs> come on. <sighs> Who is this man? Man, what is man, just come man? on. Alright, so I guess now I'm playing with Franklin. Switch me up. Where's this thing happening? Where is Down Grove happen? Street. Let's go to Grove Street. We shooting shit oh. up. Spraying some motherfuckers. I can drive by with the best of them. Behave yourself, man. Lamar, what's happening? What you in stress set up? We buying weight, homie. Something that'll move us up the food chain, nigga. For real. Not this real in this town, nigga. Particularly where you and stress concerned. Man, this is an investment opportunity. You got to speculate to accumulate. Ooh, first rule of business. Hey, since we're out here banging, either you got some dust. Fool wanna get butt naked? <laughs> Wait, what happened? The deal was. <laughs> I guess the deal was right there, and I guess I messed it up somehow by destroying. <laughs> uh, oops. Now I gotta wait for it to load. <laughs> Alright. So it's gonna be a little less chaotic. Where's this thing happening? Down Grove Street. We shooting shit up, spraying some other fuck. List all your radio stations. I can drive by with the best of them. Behave yourself, man. Lamar, what's happening? What you in stress set up? We buying weight, homie. Something that'll move us up the food chain, nigga. Oh, oh. Not this real in this town, nigga. Particularly where you in stress concerned. Man, this is an investment opportunity. You got to speculate to accumulate. Ooh, first rule of business. Hey, since we're out here banging, either you got some dust. Fool wanna get butt naked? <laughs> I'll get whatever it takes me, oh boy. Homie's <laughs> crazy, man. Homie live up here. Hey, look, everybody be cool, man. Lamar about to do his thing, all right? All right. You know it's going to go wrong. Like everything in this. Hey, be on point, this fool janky. Courier service. Packers to collect. You got the grip? Present and accounted for. <laughs> you like that, huh? Sample? <laughs> now we talking. <laughs> My throat getting numb already. So we good, nigga, right? Well, let's go. 
How about a taste? No, man, we leave it. I want a taste of the other side of the brick. Now, you heard what your boy said, you're leaving. Hey, give me the... Give me the... Back. Whoa. Oh. What the fuck? Did we ask for a key or a fucking ounce? Man, that's motherfucking drywall. Hey, we got some motherfucking buyer's remorse out here. Damn, you can't fucking hustle uh -oh. a hustler. Fuck off. Oh, you motherfuckers are dead. We gotta get off, bro. Car. Took me for a mark. Ah, this is ridiculous. I can't drive out of here. Jump in a car. Oh my gosh. Split 
my nigga, and keep our heads down. On our way. Uh, oh, what am I doing? If I should go on land here, uh, he's going there. He'll go up a ways. No, 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 go. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, what dirt bikes. Yes. out of those little blue cones on the mini map down there. I should be okay. I just gotta stay out of them long enough. And they're gone. Mission passed. Alright, I could work my way up to the land somehow, but let's just switch characters real quick down here. Uh, take the easy way out. <laughs> Anyways, as it zooms in here, that uh, that's going to be 30 minutes of uh, GTA 5. Oh yeah, cops. Oh yeah, he just escaped. Anyways, 30 minutes of that's it for uh, Tuesday. Coming up on Thursday. I don't know what I'm going to play yet. Uh, haven't decided. We'll find out here on Thursday, of course. Uh, PlayerOneLoss.com also went live today, so go ahead and check that out. And I don't really have much else to say. Uh, go play GTA 5. Um, if you got a young kid, don't buy it for him. You've, you've seen all the language and stuff. Yes, there's like a social commentary mixed in behind it, but it's very crude and everything. But uh, very enjoyable if you just love chaotic sandboxes. That's all I got. Let me know if you want to see something else. Let me know your thoughts on the game. All of that in the comments below. Have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday.